Hello, welcome again. This is Five Minute Sermon. Today, my sermon is taken from Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 until 46. The title of this sermon is They Are Lord's Brother. Every human being who claims believe in God must have a noble goal of wanting to serve God in their lives. But the noble goal is often obstructed because of human attitude itself. And in this passage, we see there are three characters. First character is king, a person who is called God, clearly, clearly gives information about the basic of the separation that he made, how human act in their lives with respect towards him, which is represented by marginalized people. They are a group that suffered during their lives because of hunger, thirst, being strangers, lack of clothes, suffering from illness, and imprisonment. This representative was a source of surprise for the two separate groups. Second character, it was people who were shocked because they had done the will of the king as long as they lived. That was to give help to those who were called brothers by the king. And they are blessed by the father and get the kingdom and eternal life. The third character, God. They are the people who are shocked because they are mistaken for what they see as long as they live in the world. They didn't think that the most despicable people were brothers of the king. And finally, they were cast into eternal torment. So, the reflection in this sermon. From the information above, the question will arise, why are the most marginalized people during their life in, the, in this world called the king's brother? Because every human is created in God's image. Every human being is representative of God in this world. For this reason, we must remember that there are two main laws mentioned by the Lord Jesus. Remember Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 until 39. That is loving God and loving others like loving oneself. However, the, to carry out the second law, people often stumble with themselves, looking to other people no longer through the God's image paradigm, but from the paradigm of status, wealth, influence, and religion. That is, looking to other people from the wealthy they have, the position they hold in the community, how influence that the person is in the community, or are we have same religion or not? Because of that, the people are not important to me or to you and not our business. Of course, this paradigm is very popular because it is a system built by this world. Therefore, as long as we live, let us help the marginalized people because by doing so, we have done the word of God that is to deliver the good news to marginalized people. They are Lord's brothers. When we help them, it means we are already doing good in the sight of our Lord and we become a representation of the Lord Jesus or become Emmanuel for others. That is, marginalized people remain cared for, loved by the Lord Jesus through our lives. And at the end, if we do this, we will get a share in the kingdom of heaven. Do you want? Amen. Bye.